Hi guys and welcome to a brand new video. My YouTube channel by Alan Moore would not be my YouTube channel if I wouldn't have come up with another innovative and taboo breaking concept and that's why today's video will be part of my new online YouTube series, Moore's Bucket List. More about that later. Today is the very first episode and today I'm checking out my bucket list, getting my very first Brazilian wax. And today I'm in Amsterdam to get a Brazilian wax at Go and Katie Wax Center Amsterdam. Before we get started, I'd like to inform you that this video is made in cooperation with Go and Katie Wax Bar Amsterdam. Links to all contact details can be found in the description box down below. When you enter the Go and Katie Wax Bar, you are welcomed in a very clean and modern environment. There is room to lounge a little, and you'll be asked whether you would like something to drink. And when both you and the people who wax you are ready. You will be led to the treatment room in which your wax will take place. The treatment rooms are upstairs and look like this. There is some subtle music playing in the background and a candle burning. I was very pleasantly surprised by the soothing atmosphere there. On the treatment table you will find lactoseed refreshing wipes. You will be left alone for a little while and asked to take off your pants and underwear, clean before treatment and when ready lay down on the table covering yourself up with a towel. The wax at Goang Kitty Wax Center looks like this. She'll only use her stick once. This is to make sure your hygiene is priority. The treatment itself will only start when you feel completely safe and ready. When she's waxing a certain part that is usually considered extra painful, she'll teach you a breathing technique, which I'm using right here. I asked you guys on Instagram and Twitter whether you have any questions um, surrounding the subject Brazilian waxes. And I got some questions and I'm going to answer them now and tell you my experience. The first question I got and that was asked most frequently and I was most curious about when I didn't have my first, didn't have had my first Brazilian wax yet is did it hurt? And that was the thing I was most hesitant about too um, when I had never had a Brazilian wax. Um, the short answer would have to be yes it did. But it's not an unbearable pain at all. Um, I have a pretty high pain tolerance, so it's probably it probably differentiates per person. But to me, it was a very bearable pain. I mean, it's definitely not comfortable, and I wouldn't say that I like the feeling whatsoever. But it's a very bearable pain, and to me, it's sort of comparable to um, getting lots of grays made into your skin. So if you fall down the street and you open your knee by falling sort of and you have a graze um that is basically the same feeling but then in your ooh ah so it's kind of weird but yeah <laughs> i think it's the best thing to compare it to to me it was a very pleasant surprise that it did not hurt that bad and it was pretty bearable because prior to my first brazilian wax i watched loads of videos in which um, people told their stories and there were all horror stories and I was so scared before going there because I watched all those horror videos and I was like fuck I don't want it anymore because everybody says it's gonna hurt it's gonna bleed it's gonna you, you won't be able to sit for 25 days or something and it's it'll infect and stuff but it's all just for real please don't watch all of those videos because you have to make your own experience and Besides, they're bullshit. I'm very sorry, but it's not unbearable. It definitely is not unbearable. Those horror stories in other videos uh, made me pretty nervous, but luckily the lady who waxed me was talking during the um, treatment, and as well, she just treated it like it was something totally normal, which it is, because she waxes H vaginas every single freaking day. So to her, it's normal. And I got the question whether it was awkward having someone looking in your vagina um yeah if you make it awkward and she's not gonna make it awkward and keep in mind that it's always a lady waxing you um or just someone of the same gender obviously um so it won't be awkward because it's her job she waxes eight vajayjays a day so it's normal to her you know and she has seen it all so don't be ashamed because believe me she's seen it all <laughs> i got a lot of questions asking how much it did how much it had cost and the links to all the contact details of Go the Go and Kitty Wax Bar. I have my first Brazilian wax are in the description box down below, so definitely click that. There are different kinds of waxes and yeah, so it, it differentiates per wax and um, but for a Brazilian wax at Go and Kitty Wax Bar it was 40 euros. That's the thing I hate most because to me that's pretty pricey. But um I got asked too if it was worth it and it 
definitely was worth it. Because, um, that was the next question, how long did you have to shave? Before there was a full bush, great, telling this on camera, what the, why am I filming this again? Alright, okay, so um, before, there, before there was a full bush, it was about four weeks, yeah, four weeks, full bush. Um, four weeks, that's a month, that's pretty long to me, so to me it was worth it, definitely worth it, because the four, first 14, 12 days, it was like a babe's, babe's bottom, perfect. Um, but then there started to grow hairs again, but it didn't really itch. I expected it to itch really bad, but it did not. It was pretty okay. It's better than shaving and then shaving, not shaving for three weeks. That, my friend, is hell. And before you get your first Brazilian, you have to not have shaved for 10 days, preferably three weeks. Um, I did the three weeks thing because I wanted to experience it fully like it totally was. Um, yeah, everything for my YouTube channel. I get asked what the benefits are versus waxing versus permanent hair removal. Um, I wouldn't know. I haven't like made studies out of this and definitely not out of permanent hair removal because um, I don't know anything about that. So if you would want to know something about that, I'll put a link in the description box to a site that explains it really good. I can tell you, but it's better to read it because it's more informative. So click on a link in the description box for the site. I got asked to why I did it. Um, first of all, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Second of all, um, if you don't try it, you don't know if you like it. So I wanted to try it. And yeah, curiosity. I was really curious about how it would work, etc. And besides, I feel like there's such a taboo surrounding waxing and Brazilian waxes and waxing down there because, I don't know, but I feel like there's a pretty big stigma surrounding that um, subject. And I don't know why, because it should be normal, just like masturbating and watching porn, etc, etc. Like I talked about in my Hitting the Streets with More series, that'll pop up right there. And that's why I made a video about it, to break more taboos. That was so weird. Damn, Ellen, back at it again with the breaking taboo thing. <laughs> would you do it again? I definitely would do it again. I would even dare to say that I am completely over shaving and am waxing right now. Um, I definitely would do it again. I, um, yeah, I definitely would. I d <laughs> the benefits are versus shaving are ginormous. I mean, you don't have to shave your ooh ah every single day because. When you have shaved for over two years, like I have been doing, um, it grows pretty fast because of the razor, etc, etc, um, and that is annoying AF, as you can understand, probably. So, um, yeah, the benefits are huge to me, so I would totally recommend doing Brazilian waxes for just shaving, or just waxing versus any type of other hair removal, or just leaving your bush there, because when I... Wax. I at the end of the one and a half months, I have a bush, and then I wax it, and then so I sort of have either one opposite or the other opposite. So yeah, but um, to me, I prefer waxing over shaving, definitely, and I would definitely do it again. So I totally recommend it. And as well, I know this video is made in cooperation with Going Kitty Wax Bar, but I don't say it because it's made in cooperation. I tell you because this is my experience. I really, really, really was comfortable because of the owner of Going Kitty Wax Center, Melanie, and um, she made me feel really comfortable and she talked like it was totally normal and she was really calm and she explained really good what was going to happen, etc, etc. So that was great and um, I really want to thank you for uh, making this video possible, so thank you very much. And um, I definitely recommend uh, getting your first Brazilian wax there, definitely there, because you, you're made very comfortable. And that is just something really important when you're getting, getting your first wax. And I think the thing is, because most people think it hurts unbearably bad, but that's not true. The thing is, um, it doesn't. It's just you don't know the feeling, and you have to get used to a certain feeling, and it's a new feeling and um, it's mostly the not knowing what's gonna happen and not knowing how some spots are gonna feel that is the thing that makes it 
more painful because you're just surprised every time at the pain because it's a different kind of pain but it's definitely not unbearable definitely not but it's just something you have to get used to and if you've done it a couple of times then you'll get used to it and you'll know what places of your vajayjay you feel like what yeah awkward that was the video for today and i really hope you enjoyed it and i really hope it was informative it was sort of a review slash my first experience my um boxing <laughs> um my first try or something i don't know but um i really hope you enjoyed this very first episode of more's bucket list um more about more's bucket list will be up pretty soon on my channel don't know when yet a month or two maximum um so stay tuned for that subscribe to be notified in the description box down below you'll find this link or you can click the red subscribe button down there somewhere or you can click on my head right now give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it and then i would love to see you next morse monday with a brand new episode of the get healthy what more series then i want to thank you all for the support on more summer holiday because it was so awesome seeing you guys support and oh i love it and oh my god maybe by the time this goes up i hit 300 subscribers i really hope so I don't know. Um, anyways, if I have hit 300, thank you so much. If I haven't yet, please share this video with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe all um, so I can maybe hit 300 subscribers. Yay! Thanks for watching. I would love to see you next month Monday with a brand new episode of the Get Healthy With More series. See you Monday. Hearts!